What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite explosive weapons in all Fallout 76. We have the Hellstorm Missile Launcher. Starting off over the weapon, this is it. This is our 3 star legendary Hellstorm Missile Launcher that we're using for the video, and we will be testing it with a full health and a bloody build. But the main legendary effect is the two shot effect, which is shoots an additional projectile, has the VATS critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has your VATS critical meter fills 15% faster. Over in the mods, we're using the cryo payload, recon scope, and the default appearance. To begin our demonstrations with the all-powerful Hellstorm Missile Launcher, we're first going to start off with the full health build, and then we will swap over to our bloody build. But our first targets on the list are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. We're just going to sit back here real quick, and we're going to blast this dude in the face. Oh my god, look at that explosion. That is massive, and they're all frozen now. Uh-oh, we got another guy coming out. There we go, absolutely amazing. Oh, we've got a suicider down there. Let me just destroy him. And the cool thing about this weapon is, well, it's actually an auto weapon. So watch this. Here we go. Just there we go. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Now, if you had a quad, that'd be even better. But sadly, we're sticking with a two shot. Now, goodbye, you super mutants and you floater over there. Did he die? Of course he did. Absolutely amazing. Hello, brethren. So would you like to feel the power of the Hellstorm missile launcher? How about you over there? Would you like to feel the power of the Hellstorm? Okay, I think we kind of missed, but here we're going to try it again. There we go. We're doing the VAT sits if we can hit him. Absolutely amazing. And there was a hound, but, uh, well, he's frozen now. Hello, guys. How y'all doing? Y'all doing pretty great. Let me just destroy you. Uh-oh, don't want to kill myself. Destroy you. There. Where'd everyone go? Making our way back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloody build. My first target on the list is going to be this guy right here. Can we hit? There we go, one shot, and he is dead. What about this guy over here? There we go, another one shot. We're of course gonna get more damage with the bloody build, but we will be able to survive a little bit more with the full health build. Get out of here, you stupid, stupid super mutants. Uh oh, we got ourselves a flamer floater. Well, we're gonna show him the real power of the ice machine. Here we go, goodbye now, you stupid floater. Absolutely fantastic. Let me just reload real quick before these guys shoot all the guns at me. Hello, brother. Would you like to feel the power of the Hellstorm missile launcher way back there? Let's see if he can withstand it. And he cannot. What about you, sir? Look at that. That is an insane amount of damage. They cannot withstand the power of our Hellstorm missile launcher. Hello, hello, guys. Y'all want to feel the power? Y'all want to feel the power? Here we go. Absolutely amazing. And I even almost killed myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me just... <clears throat> What are you going to do about that, huh, brother? Huh? You're being embarrassed by getting bashed to death. You freaking loser. The next voice I'm on on the list to fill the wrath of the Hellstorm missile launcher builds is Z1. The only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Freddy. And we're going to start by blasting him in the legs. There we go. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Now he's about half health. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do not hit me with your flying rocks, sir. I'm gonna destroy you in vats real quick. Here we go. We got 95. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, we have a vats crew lined up. Can we hit him? And of course we can. And this behemoth is no more. Now we've made our way back to Larry, the level 100 glowing behemoth. But this time we are our bloody build. And we're of course gonna start this by shooting him in the legs. There we go. Fantastic. We're gonna do it again. He's being frozen, so he cannot move that fast, which is fantastic. Here we go. Just one more shot. There we go. Now we're going to destroy him in vats. Stomach shot. Uh-oh, we missed. Stomach shot. Oh, God, he's getting pretty close. Oh, what the heck? You hit me with a rock. I thought you missed. Oh, here he comes again. Goodbye, you behemoth. You cannot withstand the power of the missile launcher. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We're the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Nancy. We're going to start by blasting her in the legs. There we go. Oh, God, I can't see nothing. I can't see her. Okay, let me just land real quick. Maybe reload. That way we have some ammo going on. Fantastic. Blast in the legs, Nancy. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, Jesus. She's rushing me. I just got to get back real quick. Here we go. We got the vats. Oh, no. We do not want the vats on him. We want it on her. Oh, God. Get away from me, Nancy. Just go and get out of here. Woo-wee. Um, I done killed her and myself. After searching far and wide, we found ourselves another level 100 Myler Queen, but this one goes by the name Bulma. And oh my god, she's coming right at me. We're gonna blast her in the legs real quick. Hopefully I don't kill myself this time. 
There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hopefully we can freeze her and slow her down. There we go. Just a couple shots. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Now I probably need to reload real quick. So here we go. All right. Now we're going to destroy your legs. Look at that damage. That's an insane amount of damage. Uh oh, I killed something, but it was not her, sadly. Now, of course, we're going to get the most amount of damage inside of that if we can hit it with it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God, you're getting too close. You're getting too close. I'm going to kill myself again. I don't want that to happen. Oh, God, she's right behind me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, God, she's coming. She's coming. She's too fast. She's way too fast. That's why we have a freezing thing. Got to shoot over there. That way I don't kill myself. Here we go. Try it again. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, God, get off of me. Woo! And just like that, these Myler Queens could not withstand the power of the Hellstorm Miss Launcher. Over in the builds, these are the base stats that make up our in-game full health Hellstorm Miss Launcher build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game full health Hellstorm Miss Launcher build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Ordinance Express at 3 stars stars. Explosives weigh 90% less. Over in Perception, we have 13, and this one can have Concentrated Fire to 1 star. Vats now target slims. Focus Fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have Grenadier at 2 stars. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius, and this makes our explosions with missile launchers massive. Over in Endurance, we have 12, and this one can have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Kin Fiend at 3 stars. Any Kims you take last 100% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Buffs in this video. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filth Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Mega Target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 14, and this one can have Power User at 3 stars. Fusion Core Duration is now doubled. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. We have First Aid at 3 stars. Stimpacks restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 11, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 1 star. Vats Criticals now do plus 50% to damage. We have One Gun Army at 3 stars. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage. No PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starge of Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. Over in the Bloody Build, these are the base stats that make up our in game Bloodied Hellstorm Missile Launcher build. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in game Bloodied Hellstorm Missile Launcher build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We, of course, have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Ordinance Express at 3 stars. Explosives weigh 90% less. Over in Perception, we have 3, and this one can have Concentrated Fire at 1 star. Vats now target limbs. Focus Fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have Grenadier at 2 stars. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius. Over in Endurance, we have 12, and this one can have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Kinfin at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the Rads, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filth Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 14, and this one can have Power 
user at 3 stars. Fusion core duration is now doubled. We have stabilize at 3 stars. In power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have demolition expert at 5 stars. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. We have nerd rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in agility, we have 11 and this one can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10%, max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this still can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 1 star. Vats criticals now do plus 50% to damage. We have 1 gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple him. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have class freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. Over in legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in game heavy gunner builds. Starting off with intelligence, we have that card maxed out, we have endurance maxed out, strength maxed out, luck maxed out, electric absorption at 1 star, and power sprinter at 1 star. These are the legendary perk cards, now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 overeaters power armor, and the reason we go with the overeaters is because it says, increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, and if you eat a perfect bubblegum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build, we have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egg Head, healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skull Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Potato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst smears do not increase. Over in the Kim buffs, we took Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and we took Psycho Buffs to get a plus 29 to our max HP, a 1.35 to our endurance, a 1.35 to our strength and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my favorite heavy guns in all Fault 76, the Gatling gun. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it to the screen right now. You see that? That is my Gatling gun video.